Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav and today's video I am going to teach you how to install SAS software on your personal laptop or in your organization. Let's move on to the next slide. This is me and about my experience. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys, if you want to learn SAS or if you want to buy my SAS video course, you can WhatsApp me or you can email me. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys, if you are preparing for SAS interview, you can contact me. I will provide you a SAS interview session and with the help of this, you can clear your SAS interview. Let's move on to the next slide. So now I am going to show you how to install SAS on Windows operating system. So let's start. So guys, this is the SAS software. In your SAS software, you will find setup file. So you just need to click on this setup icon or you just click run as administrator. If you have administrator access, a wizard will open and it will start loading predefined things. Now you need to select English or whatever your language is. So I will select English. Let's click. So this wizard will be there for some more time because deployment will start. So we need to wait. So this will take time as per your machine's performance. If your processor is fast, your machine is good, then it will show quickly the next step. Otherwise, it will take some time. So please have some patience. So once this window will appear, there are multiple options. Let me maximize this. So here you will see end user task, install SAS software, manage this SAS software depot, or create or add a SAS software. So here we will select install SAS software, but if you already installed SAS and you want to make changes to some of the software, you just need to click on this one. And if you have a SAS software depot already, you can choose this option, but we will be choosing this install SAS software. Click next. So guys, again, we have three options here. First is perform a planned deployment. So if you are installing this in your organization and if your organization has planned deployment file or a plan, so based on that plan, you can use that and you can install. But since we do not have any planned deployment as of now, so we will see the second option. Second option is install SAS foundation and related software. And third one is install additional software. So it's clear that we are not going to install the additional software, but we are going to install this foundation and related software so that we can use SAS Enterprise Guide and other softwares. Let's click on next. So now here you will need to select whatever software you want to install. You just need to select them. Not all softwares are required for you. So whatever products is useful for you, just select those. So if I will see here, I need SAS Enterprise Guide, SAS Enterprise Miner, Workstation Configuration. So I do not work on SAS Enterprise Miner, but in your organization or if you want to work on, you can click on this, but I do not need it. So I will deselect this. SAS Foundation, yes, we need it. SAS Integration Technology Client, if you need it, you can use. I do not need SAS Studio, single user. So I will deselect this one. Again, SAS Text Miner, I do not need this. So I will deselect says graph active X control. I will keep it selected. If you want any other product you can use. I want standalone format. So I will select this. You can see if anything we need says universal viewer. If you want this you can select. I do not want this. Okay. I do not want any other software. Okay. So before clicking on next, I'll tell you when you will install. There may be other products here. If you want to install servers. You can select here if you want to install the entire platform. So there you will see the server installation product. But as of now, we are just focusing on this one. Then we will select this. See, I've just changed this. So here this one is again selected. It says Enterprise Miner. So I'll just quickly remove them. It says ODS graphic design. I don't need that one also. Why I need? I do not need this. Text Miner. I do not need this. Okay, and I need this one. Okay, let's click on the next now. Okay, now you need to check your machine. If it is 64 bit, you will select 64 bit. 
if it is 32 bit then you need to select 32 bit so my machine is 64 bit click next okay select enterprise guide mode so we need 64 bit it's a compatibility and this one is native mode so i will select 64 bit native mode so it will perform better on my machine click next so guys these are the foundation products that you want to install whatever you have the license or whatever you need it you select them and the other thing that you do not need you can skip that so in my machine the hadoop is not installed so i do not want base infrastructure to support hadoop or maybe geo marketing geo marketing sas accelerator or sas enterprise miner i do not need this or maybe you can check all these products if you need them you install otherwise do not sas network algorithms i do not work on this if you work you can sas analytics common components sas text analytics for french i do not need this sas text miner i do not need this so if you are not sure what to select what to not select just select all and click next but since i do not want these in my machine i do not want my machine to be overloaded with products that i do not need sas access interface to db2 if you have db2 database select otherwise do not select interface to hadoop i do not want interface to impala i do not want similar ways okay you just whatever you feel like that is not useful for you do not select and then like sas iml i do not need it rest okay fine let's click on the next now okay now you need to select license file it's automatically selected but in your folder your installation folder you will find sid files folder license file the latest license file you have just select this and click next now you need to select the language in which language you want to install these products i'll just clear all i just want english so english is by default so i'll just select and click next then it will ask for sas foundation 64 bit sas enterprise guide 64 bit what it is asking it is asking if you want to open a file then where your sas file should open so by default should it be open in sas foundation 64 bit or sas enterprise guide so i will select my files to be open in sas enterprise guide whenever i'll open a sas file by double clicking on the file click next you can just click next it will ask for global standard library so keep it as it is by default laptop name and port number let it be by default but if you are installing this in your organization then you need to select the host name as per your organization's specification and port number whatever port number is free if you are installing this on server then there should be a separate port number for server but for as of now on my machine i'll just keep as default whatever it is coming here click next it will take some time for checking your system and it will load the installation package so this step generally happens quickly okay so now it's telling available disk space in my machine required disk space once this is done click next okay so these are the things that will install in your machine these are all total products but what happens because we deselected some of the parts so when you install some of the part will passed quickly without installing so it will show all the products but whatever we have select previously it will install only those products let's click on the start it will start the installation so these three things are there completed successfully completed with warnings completed with errors so we will be able to check what product is successfully installed if it is installed successfully it will show green check mark if it's warning then it will show warning and if it is not installed with error any product then it will show and then we will see whatever product is not installed and has the warnings and then we'll see if this that particular product is actually necessary or not if it's not necessary or not installed correctly that is fine because our focus here is on sas enterprise guide because we want to practice on this one we want to develop the project on this one so that should work fine let's click on the start now so now the progress is started and it will show from here at the top it will show you 
So first, Microsoft Office Access Database Engine 2010 is getting installed. And this one is installed quickly. SAS Private Java Runtime Environment that is installed. Now the SAS Deployment Manager is installing. So some products will quickly install, some products will take more time. You need patience because this installation takes some time. It's not quick. So once you start this installation, you can go and grab a coffee and come after 30 minutes or 40 minutes. So guys, almost 2% products have been installed. So guys, now the installation is complete. If you see all the components have been installed correctly, there is no error. Now you just need to click next. And this is the report. You can send this report. Otherwise just click on next and click on finish. So now software has been installed correctly. So guys, now we will test if the installation is completed successfully by running the SAS Enterprise Guide. So we will run a SAS code and we'll check if it's running fine or not. So let's open the SAS Enterprise Guide. So when you open the SAS for the first time, the screen will show like this. Click Create New Program. I'll just run a small data step, just creating a data set. Data, name of the data set is test, then creating a variable, test value, assigning value as 100, then run. And now I will run this code. So I will click on run and this will indicate that our code is running. Here also it will show that uh, cancel button is showing. That means our code is running. Let's see how much time it will take to run. So the code has executed. Now first we will check the log. So there is no error, no warnings. Code ran fine. Now we will see the output data set. Click on the output data tab and here the data set test has been created. The variable is test value and value is 100. So our installation completed successfully. So guys, I hope you understood how to install this. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys, now we are able to install SAS on Windows operating system. Let's move on to the next slide. So that's it in this session guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button or if you want to subscribe, please subscribe my channel or if you need any information, you can write a comment and I'll make sure that I'll reply to your comment. So guys, if you really want a SaaS software or the license, you can contact me and I'll help you install the SaaS software in your machine. So we will meet in the next session. Till the time, bye and take care.